Over 5,000 years ago, the ancient Egyptians wrote things down using a picture writing called hieroglyphics. The people who did the actual writing were called scribes. The scribes had a problem. The ancient Egyptians wrote everything down, absolutely everything. Although hieroglyphics were very pretty, it took time to write in pictures. Scribes needed a faster way to write things down. They created a new form of writing called demotic script. The new scribes did not study the old language of hieroglyphics. They could write much more rapidly with some of the new scripts they created. Hundreds of years later, archaeologists discovered beautiful hieroglyphic writing on the walls of ancient Egyptian pyramids and tombs. The archaeologists had a problem. They knew hieroglyphics had meanings. Although lots of archaeologists could read demotic script, there was no one left in the world who remembered what the ancient hieroglyphics meant. It was very frustrating. It was not until quite recently, a mere 200 years ago, that a stone was found in Egypt. This stone had the same short story written on it in Greek, in demotic, and in hieroglyphics. Scientists could read Greek, scientists could read demotic, and now scientists could begin to read hieroglyphics. They named this famous stone the Rosetta Stone. Today the Rosetta Stone is on display for everyone to see. Currently it makes its home in the famous British Museum in London. We will also approach reading musical notes on staff notation the same way archaeologists learn to read hieroglyphics. We will take some songs for which we know, number one, the solfege, number two, know how to play on the keyboard. We will then look at the notation and for some songs we will also look at a notated melodic variation. Here's our first song. <laughs> 